Season 2, Episode 12, The Serpent's Pass. So, let me get some clarification out of the way before we start. So, on Netflix, this uh, is Episode 12. It's called The Secret of the Fire Nation, and it is a 45-minute episode. But it turns out this is actually just Episode 12 and 13 put together in one episode for some reason. I think it might have been a two-parter. I don't know. So, I'm just going to watch half of this episode and then leave the other half for next time. I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to watch the whole thing. I'm just trying to do it by an episode by episode basis because it just helps keep me on track, on schedule. You know what I mean? So uh, we'll be watching episode 12, The Serpent's Pass, right now. <laughs> cool. Nice. <laughs> sure. Five thousand year old maps from the spirit library. Just splash some water on them. Sorry. <laughs> hey, let's go. So did you figure out what route we're gonna take? Okay, we just got out of the desert, so we must be around here. And we need to go to Bossing Say, which is here. Yep. It looks like the only passage connecting the south to the north is this sliver of land called the Serpent's Pass. I'm glad you're doing better. I don't believe that for a second. I think he's masking. Then to Bossing say we go. No more distractions. Hello there, fellow refugees. Bruh. So are you guys headed to Bossing say too? We sure are. We're trying to get there before my white being has her baby. Great. Nice. We can travel through the Serpent's Pass together. Oh. We are desperate. Peaceful fairy ride or deadly pass. Deadly pass seems more cool, to be fair. I can't believe how many people's lives have been uprooted by the Fire Nation. Yeah, it's insane. Considering the episode's called The Serpent's Pass, I feel like we're going to have to go through The Serpent's Pass at some point. <laughs> oh, he's on one of the fairies, yeah. Jet's back? Ugh. I thought we were done with this bozo. Alright. New recruits. I hear the captain's eating like a king while us refugees have to eat off his scraps. Doesn't seem fair, does it? What sort of king is he eating like? The fat, happy kind. My cabbages! This dude and his cabbages always, all the time. Man, I feel so bad for him, bro. Every time we see him, his cabbages get ruined, dude. This is the saddest character in television history. The guy never gets a break. Next. Um, more tickets for the ferry to Bossing Say, please. Passports. Uh, no one told us we had to have passports. Don't you know who this is? He's the Avatar. Ah, I see fifty avatars a day, and by the way, not the what? <laughs> well, normally it's only one ticket per passport, but this document is so official. I guess it's worth four tickets. Nice. That was Thank you very much. Using that right, rich family privilege. Tickets and passports, please. Is there a problem? Yeah, I got a problem with you. What what That's why she was unrecognizable. I'm like, do I know you? It's because she doesn't have all the makeup on, yeah. Makes all the security guards wear them. And look at you, sleeveless guy. Been working out? Ah, I'll go <laughs> to the ranch, do a few chin touches every now and then. 
Right, 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 right. <laughs> but she's pregnant and all their stuff was stolen. You have to make an exception. No exceptions. If I just gave away tickets willy nilly to anyone, there would be no more order. And you know what that means. No more civilization. What if we gave them our tickets? No, but next. Dang. Don't worry. You'll get to the city safely. I'll lead you through the serpent's pass. Oh. So everyone else is going to get on the ferry, but he's going to lead them to the Serpent's Pass. That's fascinating. Oh, no, they all gave up. Okay, never mind. Oh, nice. Wow. In all her gear, too. Dang. Look how steep that mountain is. How are they even supposed to climb it? Um, I was going to say, he can't really deflect any of that. Suki, are you okay? you hey, good on him. He, he saved her life. Thanks for saving my life, Top. Hey, no problem, <laughs> Suka. It's like such a narrow... That's so weird. I like the formation. It's kind of cool. Like... It's not a normal mountain. It's like, I, I, I've never seen a mountain so like thin before. It's really cool. Suki, you shouldn't sleep there. Who knows how stable this ledge is? It could give way at any moment. Dang, he really is eating good up here. Nice. Oh. Dude, wait, that's so smooth. That was so smooth. Dang, good on them. You know, it's okay to piss off us. What's going on with you? In the desert, all you cared about was finding Appa, and now it's like you don't care about him at all. He does. He's just masking. He's hiding. He's... Yeah. You saw what I did out there. I was so angry about losing Appa, I couldn't control myself. I hated you for it. And That's you fair. Letting yourself feel anything. Yeah. I know sometimes it hurts more to hope, and it hurts more to care. But you have to promise me you won't stop caring. Come on. We need a hug. Hmm. Oh. He didn't die. He just went away. <laughs> yep. I only had a few days to get to know him. He was smart and brave and funny. Who is this guy? Is he taller than me? <laughs> no. He's about your height. Is he better looking? It is you, stupid. <laughs> he didn't wait. I, I thought he was joking. He actually didn't pick up on that. That's crazy. Uh. I'm sorry. No, you shouldn't be. So, Smellaby, that's an unusual name for a young man. Maybe it's because I'm not a man. I'm a girl. Who 
Oh. Now I see. It's a beautiful name for a lovely girl. I know. You're right. As long as I'm confident with who I am, it doesn't matter what other people think. Thanks, Long Shot. Vex. He didn't have to say a word. I have a feeling you're being misled. That sounds very deceiving. Been there before? Once. When I was a different man. Oh. I see. Water bending time. I was going to say. Part the sea is Moses. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Oh, okay. She's not part of Okay. Just a little air pocket. Still, it's cool though. This is so cool. It's reasons like this why waterbending is, in my opinion, the coolest one you can do. There's so many cool things you can do with it. I genuinely think it is. If I had to pick one, I would definitely pick water if I had one. Because it is the cool. It's so cool, man. Set up. Oh. What is that thing? Um, no time like the present to keep moving. That works. Maybe she can just bring the ground up and make a bridge. Oh, of course, they're right in the middle. Oh, that is a freaking... Is that a dragon? Oh, serpent. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, actually. <laughs> I'm stupid sometimes. Suki, you know about giant sea monsters. They can go away. This is sick. Oh, this is awesome. literally surfing on ice Tough, come on it's just ice actually i'm going to stay on my little island where i can see ah! okay, yeah you just just straight just straight just straight Not even close. Help! I can't swim. I'm coming, nice, nice, nice. Help! Oh, Sokka, you <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Cool, dude. That's so sick, man. I'm making a whirlpool. They're trying to drown it. That works too. There's the wall. Oh, nice. I don't believe that for a second. Birth. supposed to find rags nice
I mean, maybe he does. I don't know. Zuko doesn't strike me as the type of person who wants to team up with someone like Jet. And he did to get food, but, like, you know, when he's like, you're an outcast like me, us outcasts have to stick together. I just, it feels like something he would reject. But, you know, he also has gone on his own, you know, journey, like by himself, and uh, has realized it wasn't the best path. So maybe he's a little more, or a little less reluctant to it now, I suppose. Okay, childbirth is not that horrific to look at. <laughs> it's really not. The only reason I've seen it is because I'm in medical classes. Hope. That's a perfect name. That's. Hope. I don't want to like ruin the moment, but that's not really a unique name. It's a good name, though, I will say. And it, it is a beautiful thing to witness, you know, and it's really making him cry and stuff. I thought I was trying to be strong, but really I was just running away from my feelings. You see, this family together, so full of happiness and love, it's reminded me how I feel about Appa and how I feel about you. Hmm. Oh, he's going off on his own. Oh, he is ready. You talk too much. <laughs> it didn't seem like he was ready because of the events of the North Pole. But it seemed like he just had to get over that, which it seemed like, well, I don't think he's over it, but like he's, you know, I guess in the moment it wasn't the best time, but it definitely is what he wanted in the long run. So it's nice to see that. That is a very tall wall. What? Is that a drill? A CGI drill? That's going through the wall, isn't it? Oh boy. <laughs> Definitely Fire Nation. Wow. Okay, here's chapter 13. Well, we're going to end it here. Um, that was a good episode. <laughs> I actually, I really like that. Serpent's Fast was cool. Um, it was nice getting a couple characters back. Um, you know, Zuko's little storyline was decent. You know, just him and Jet teaming up, it seems like. So that'll be interesting because I really didn't like Jet. Um, he's a master gaslighter. <laughs> but maybe he has changed. I don't know. Serpent's Pass was uh, definitely full of a serpent. The, the reason I said a dragon at first is because it looked like your typical, um, I don't even, it, it, it had the face of a dragon, you know? So I was like, oh, the dragon. It's like, oh, no, it's a water serpent. Duh, it came out of the water. I feel a little stupid for that. But besides that, um, it was cool. I love the fight that Katara and Aang had with the serpent. That, that, that was sick. The way it was animated, oh, and what they were doing, like, I mean, like, surfing on ice. And stuff, that was so cool. That was so cool. Um, and yeah, the delivering of the baby and giving Aang hope again, um, Sokka finally moving on from the events in the North Pole, um, a little bit, you know, I just, it was nice, this was a nice episode, this was a good, like, team episode, I guess, like, everyone was working together, everyone was chill, you know, we, 
I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it. I just really liked the vibe of this episode and the dynamic between everybody. Aang just kind of being super blunt and like not caring anymore. When he really did care deep down, he just wanted to give up hope because of you know the rage that consumed him the last time, and you know getting that reinstated in him was very nice and beautiful to see. So I just this is a very solid episode all around. I I really liked it. I like the characters in this. The fight was great. A lot of the conversations were really well written. I think this was a very solid episode. So, yeah. And now we've split ways with Aang and the rest of them. Although Aang has stopped his journey of finding Appa to go fight this drill, apparently. It's definitely a drill because chapter 13 is called the drill. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so it'll definitely be interesting to see them split up for a little bit unless he goes right back to them I don't really know it seems like he's going to try and handle it on his own though because he's already on the wall and that thing is coming quick so yep and him and Zuko and all of them are all going to this city so yeah a lot of stuff is about to go down I could imagine this next episode is going to be like real <laughs> really like a big episode very intense so i'm very excited to see it but yeah this episode very solid very enjoyable so yeah definitely felt like a part one i can see why these two episodes are grouped together in this one episode uh but for the sake of simplicity and time constraints i'm only watching the first half of this so i will watch chapter 13 next time but yeah anyways i uh, hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. So it seems like things are about to ramp up. So let's see how it plays out. 